This is Jack's latest record from the thrift store. A long time ago, in a little town called Sleepy Hollow, there was a school teacher named Ichabod Crane. Now, Ichabod was a tall, skinny man who was quick to use a ruler on naughty scholars. Ichabod didn't live in the town of Sleepy Hollow. To get to his house, he had to ride his skinny old horse through the woods. He had heard stories that there was some kind of a ghost that prowled through the woods. Being a learned man, he put no stock in such tales. One night, Ichabod stayed in town very late at a party. As the evening wore on after lots of food and lots of cider, the folks started telling ghost stories, and they got around to talking about the ghost in the woods outside of town. The story was that the ghost was a rider on a big horse that actually snorted flames and smoke, and the rider, he was a huge man who had no end. Finally, it got to be very late, and it was time to go home. Now, old Ichabod wasn't exactly scared, but then again, he wasn't too keen on riding through those woods this late at night. Then he got on his skinny old horse and started off for home. As he rode through the woods, the cool moon shone with an eerie light, making all kinds of spooky shadows. An owl, who in the distance, didn't make him feel any better, so he urged his old horse to go a little faster. What was that? Was it a dog? Maybe a wolf? Suddenly he caught a glimpse of a strange orange light, and it was coming straight toward him. Now Ichabod was terrified. He tried to make his old horse go faster, but the strange orange light was coming closer and closer. Could it be? Yes, it was a rider on a horse. The horse seemed to breathe smoke and flames, and now the schoolmaster could see better. The horseman had no head. The rider's head was carried before him on the saddle, and he was laughing, the craziest laugh you've ever heard. The headless horseman was coming very close to Ichabod now. He could feel the heat from the horse's fiery breath. They raced through the woods. The goblin was laughing. Ichabod was screaming. It was some wild scene as they raced along the little trail that led to a little bridge near the church. Just as they came to the bridge, the headless horseman suddenly stopped. His horse reared up. And what happened next is the scariest part of the story. The goblin rose in his stirrups and threw his head straight at Ichabod. The next day, Ichabod's old horse was found near his master's gate. But the saddle was missing. Later on, down by the old wooden bridge, they found Ichabod's hat. And close beside it, a shattered pumpkin.